Welcome to a video from thedislife.com. In this video I'm going to show you how you can roll back from one previous one Windows 11 version to a previous version. This is especially handy if you're a Windows inside and you're testing your builds of Windows 11 and you have a problem with it and you need to go back to the previous build. So here on this virtual machine I've got the latest Windows Insider build installed and I'm going to roll it back to the previous version. So to get started you need to go into settings which we're going to here into Windows Update and then Advanced Options. And here you've got Recovery. So this will work if you've updated in the last couple of weeks uh, or, and you haven't cleared out the disk space that um, there's an option in settings where you, in disk space storage where you can actually remove previous versions. So if you've removed it, obviously you can't go back to it. But this one I've just updated this today, so I can go back. Okay, so now you get to you get to send some feedback to Microsoft why you need to go back. Uh, I'll put it another reason. Uh, I can put my arena as testing. Roll back. You don't have to do anything on that one. Uh, it's, just, it's useful feedback from Microsoft if they see a lot of telemetry saying people are rolling back, they can investigate that build. And uh, can, do you want to check for updates? No. Okay, it's given me plenty of ch chances to bail out, but I'm going to go ahead with it. And now this is going to start reapplying that old build, previous build. So I'm going to let it do its stuff, and uh, when we finish, and when it finishes doing the rollback, uh, we should be back on the previous build, and then I can then download the new build if I if I want to. Uh, say I want to, like in this case to test it again. So here you can see now it's restoring the previous versions. Okay, this there we are. It's finished that. It took about a minute or so. Okay, so there we go, it took about a minute or so to... Uh, so there we go, it took a couple of minutes for it to complete and uh, that's booting up now and we're back on the previous build you can see down here, I'm on 22581. And so that's rolled it back. Now if I wanted to go forward again and get a new build, then if I go back to Windows Update, do a retry and it'll re-download that build now and try and install it if I was having problems I could pause that for a week and then wait for a build to come next week so I don't in case the, obviously what we don't want to do now I've rolled back this is going to now try and install the new version and then I'm going to get the same issue again I have to roll back again so you're probably best to pause that so that's how you roll back to a previous version the same applies to a regular update of Windows um, Windows 10 or Windows 11 as well if you get a, a new build update then you can roll back the same way so thanks for watching this video you can find out more on the